Hey guys, it's Daniel here, and I have this review of the MBO5 TSDS-97 Mauser Adjustable Sock Sniper Rifle, whichever you may call it, it has many names. I bought this from airsplat.com, and I've already opened it, assembled it, shot it, played with it, but I took it apart for the most part. I didn't take the scope rings off the scope and everything, and I put it back in the box the way I found it. So now it's going to be an unboxing and a review because I've already used it. Alright, I ordered this from airsplat.com. Check right here. I'll put a link. And when you get it, the box should look like this. It says 45 day warranty on, warranty on it, which is always good just in case it messes up or you just don't want it anymore. And you undo that. And you undo the box and all the tape on it. I myself ordered an extra magazine just because that's my preference. I, I don't like having only one magazine to a gun. So I'll put that to my side. After that, you should come out with a black box that looks like this. Give me a second. Move this one out of the way. Now, this box is quite different from that one. This one is the actual gun box. It has a picture of the rifle right here. Some other words, you got the specs of it right here. Which it's overall it's a really good gun. But you'll take that off. And you have all this paperwork, which no one wants really, but it helps a little bit. It comes with this two little air splat stickers that I think are pretty neat. And this well, this is my order form. And this is just this is general knowledge for, it has AEG guns, battery powered gas guns, all that on here, and I don't know why it gave me two of them, but maybe they felt like being nice. And here are the so-called instructions. They're, they're kind of confusing, they're very blunt. It says, follow the directions of the arrowhead to install the gun and screw the bolt. And all this is a picture with red arrows telling you what to do basically, so I had to figure out how to put this gun together on my own. When you do that, this is what you will see in the box. And there, and there is some assembly required. So here's the, the magazine that actually came with it. This is the box that would normally hold the scope rings, but I already have that assembled because I didn't feel like taking it apart. It took me 30 minutes to put it together. Here's the bipod. The sling, which on a bunch of other reviews I've watched, they said it's a crappy sling, but it feels like it's good. It feels like it's a good sling, but I've only used it twice, so I'll see how it handles up. Now, the interesting thing I thought is that it comes with a speed loader, which is pretty cool, but it comes with a little adapter piece, and this will actually let you load BBs into this clip easily. Because it's only holds, I've been told 22 by some people, 35 by some. I didn't count how many, but see, when you load it, you have to push this down, and this just helps you load it in there. Because if you load it by hand, it takes a really long time. So this really helps you out. And then it comes, as every gun does, with a little pack of BBs that wouldn't even last you around. The scope box, I'll open this for a second, like I said, the scope's already assembled, because so I, I, I did that. And here is a little tool set. It comes with about four or five Allen wrenches, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and one tiny screw, which I have yet to use. We'll be using that in a second. Now for fun stuff. This is the actual body of the gun. As you can notice, it's missing a little something. So that's right here. This is the barrel, the bolt, and the trigger. And when assembling this, let me get this out of my way. When you assemble this, you're just gonna want to take the barrel and everything. And this, I can't explain exactly how to do it. You'll just have to shimmy around with it. 
what I did is I stuck the trigger in first. If you'll look down there, you'll see there's a little hole and completely through. That's where the trigger goes. Try to wiggle that in there and also try to wiggle this piece right in here. So this might take you a second or if you're just awesome, I guess like I am, take you literally about a second. And see, it looks like it's good to go, but it's not. I thought so myself, so I went to pull the bolt back, and I just completely pulled the whole thing out. So what you have to do next is get that little set of Allen wrenches and find the biggest one in there. It's pretty wide. And take the gun, lay it on its top. If you look right here at the trigger guard, right on the bottom of the trigger guard, there's a hole. And that leads to another hole in the grip of the gun. You're going to stick the Allen wrench down in there long ways and fiddle around until you find the bolt. And once you find the bolt, of course, you're going to screw it in. And it's going to take a minute to screw, but when it gets tight, you'll be able to tell. Now, if you look a little bit up, right here this big gap is, before it, there's another small hole. And you're going to take the Allen wrench, put it in there, and screw that one in. And once you screw these two bolts in, your gun is assembled for the most part. The basics of it is. And you won't be using this much, but you will use it a few times. And see now, this doesn't come up. The barrel's secure. That's a good thing. And next, I'm going to put the bipod on. Now, the bipod puts on with a Weaver rail mount, which I think is pretty cool because that's also my last name. Go figure. What you're going to do is it's got this little rail mount system up on the front right here. And, well, first of all, you're going to loosen. This would normally be screwed in all the way. It's going to be tight. You're going to take this. You're going to loosen it. And see how that wiggles out? You're going to take and you're going to put it around this part right here and you're just going to screw it in and after that your bipod is connected you can mess it up on there and that's what you'll use instead of yourself while shooting of course next the fun part the scope <laughs> and normally when disassembled the scope will look completely different these protectants wouldn't be on here, um, and the, little, the scope rings to actually, actually attach it to the gun wouldn't be on here, It'd just be a plain out scope. Now this scope, it is a 3 to 9 by 40 I think scope, and you're going to attach it similar to how you attach the bipod. Down here, you know there's the little weaver rail mount, there's also one up top, and that's for scopes, red dots, whichever you want to. Now, it's a little bit lengthy, so you can put it, if you'd rather put it up here, or you'd rather put it back here in the middle, whichever you want to. I kind of prefer mine towards the back, just so I can put my eye closer to the scope. And then, once you get that on there, of course, you'll screw it in, do exactly like you did with the bipod. Screw that in. a little trouble here and of course it came all the way out that's what happens when you unscrew it too much of course is it comes all the way out and it just kind of ruins your gun build see now the bipod is secure and I can look down the scope and I can see you anyway this is the fully assembled gun it's got the bolt that cocks back of course and it's got the bipod down here and the scope. And this right here is an, a, this is the cheek rest. That's what you also use to steady your face when you're shooting. Now you're going to want to reach inside your little bag of Allen wrenches and find the next smallest one, which this will also be a silver one. And you're going to look on the side where the bolt is. There's going to be there's only one hole that fits it. And you're going to take that, you're going to stick it in there. Is that wrong? No, no. Stick it in there. You're going to unscrew it. After you unscrew it, 
this will pull up, and it will pull all the way out, of course. And then you sit, fix it about however you want, and of course that's for when you're looking down the down range through the scope. You have something to rest your cheek on and look. And this is the butt stock. It's got it's not like other sniper rifles which have the hard plastic which really hurts your shoulder at the point. It's got it's rubber on it. it Kinda of feels like a bicycle tire. And that it just rests firmly in there. And this also it goes back and forward just by twisting this. You can see it's starting to scoot back. And then if you screw it back in, it scoots forward. I I don't like mine too far out. I prefer it right there, right where it factory basically. And all right, so that's the assembly of the gun. Oh, and the sling. If you look right, right here, on both sides. There's a little hole, and you'll take this, you'll clip it on there, and it's clipped in. And on the back, if you look right under, or right behind where the bolt is, you'll see there's another little hole. You clip it right there, and you strap it in. You can put it on either side. I normally put it on the opposite side of the bolt, just so the bolt's not digging in my back when I'm toting it over my shoulder. But, yeah, that's that. And... When loading it, I have both my clips already loaded because I keep them like that. You're just going to take this big hole right here that I showed you earlier. It'll say on the front of the clip, it'll say front and pointing an arrow. And that, of course, points that way. You'll take it, you'll put it in, and you'll push it in until it goes all the way in. Now, most of the time, the front, time, the front end will go in before the back end. Make sure you push that back end in, and that's securely in. It's not going to shake out, and then you can fire. Now to get it out, it I figured this out on my own. Run your finger up the clip, and you'll find a hole. Just push back the spring, and the clip pops out. That's very convenient, because you know on a lot of on um, rifles or on pistols, there's a little button right right here next to the grip. I like this better because it's easier to put back in. Alright, what's next? Oh, specs. Alright. This gun, it weighs about 11 pounds. The length, I'd give it close to 4 foot. Of course, you know the magazine capacity. I told you some people say 22, some say 25. I haven't counted when I reload it yet. Um, metal pieces. The barrel is a metal piece. The actual body right here is not metal, it's hard plastic. Parts of the bipod are metal. The railing is, is plastic. The cheek is plastic and all this back here. But right here, the shoulder mount that you adjust it with, the silver part, that is that is metal. That's metal where the bolt pulls back. The bolt is metal. And yeah. All right. And the safety, which is very important, is right here. I know you can't see it, but it's right here. It's right behind the bolt. So easy access when you're sitting here and you got your finger on it. Now it slides back and you can't pull the trigger. And if it pushes forward, you can pull the trigger. Safety. And also kind of built in safety is this double trigger system. And see, if you try to pull back this first trigger without pulling the smaller one, it won't work. But if you push down this one and then pull it, it will work. So that's just a little added little precaution. Of course, the orange it has the orange tip as regulated. And some questions about this gun that I've had I didn't see on any other review before I bought it was does the scope come with it and does the bipod come with it? Yes it does. Right before I bought this gun, as in I was about to buy it, I thought it didn't come with it, so I was about to buy a bipod and a scope which would have raised my price about fifty dollars which, which would have completely ruined it but then I realized that it came with the bipod and the scope and that that of course dropped my price fifty dollars now on let me pull up my order form on the website as of right now the gun is 
159 $159.99 um, that is not including tax. I use a code that takes away the tax. It's you know a little promo code, and the code I'll put it right here, and you can use it if it's still up when you order. If not, I'm sorry. And so I didn't have to add tax, but it's one hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the for the gun. The extra clip is nine ninety nine, and. Shipping and handling, insurance and fuel was sixteen dollars and thirty nine cents, which isn't that bad. I use UPS ground shipping, which took about four days. I ordered it Sunday, which you know the order the order didn't go until Monday, so I got it today, Friday. So four to five days. All depends on where you live. Air supply is located in California, so wherever you are in the U.S., that's how long it's going to take to get there. Anyway, stop rambling. But. All of this added up, the extra clip, the gun, the shipping and handling, no tax, remember, because I used the code. It all added up to $186.37, which isn't that bad. Benz's gun is shooting around 500 FPS with .20 gram BBs. Of course, with .2 BBs, it's shooting around 430, but I use .20. Um, you know, the white ones that kind of sting, yeah, I use those. But since it's shooting around 500 FPS, it's it's not that heavy. It's a little bit harder to get used to than my M4. But it's an all-around good gun. A lot of people complain that Air Splat isn't a good website to buy guns off of because they have crappy, they always break. I have one pistol from Air Splat that my friend bought. We traded guns and I got his pistol. And I've had that pistol for about three years. I've been I've used it in almost every battle I've ever been in, and it's not broken. So Airsplat's a pretty good website, and this gun is phenomenal. Now it it will take a little while to um, adjust your hop up right. I've been doing that all afternoon. I got it at about six. I did it till about nine, so that's about three hours, and I still haven't got it perfect yet. But when you do, this gun is extremely accurate. Alright, um, let's see, we went over all this. I can't think of anything else to do. Except, go order it, it's a good, it's a good gun. I love it. And, I've already had some friends envious because they bought a different gun. Their gun was about $230. And theirs only shoots about 450 FPS. Mine's about 150, $150, and shoots about 500 FPS. So they're a little bit jealous of that. But yeah, go to airsplat.com, buy this gun. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer them as quick as I can. Remind me if I didn't go over anything. I'll make another video if I have to. And thank you. All right, bye.